Welcome back to uh, Wild Bear and Cave. Today we, um, yeah, we've got a couple of goodies that we're going to um, unbox. Um, this one being the new firearm in our uh, fleet. So um, what we're going to do is, before I unbox this one, we're going to cut to a, um, a previous recording of me removing the um, red dot scope off an old uh, 22 long rifle uh, Krico, uh which will end up on this firearm. So we'll cut to that one now and we'll get back to you shortly. Right, today um, we're gonna be um, pulling off the, our red dot sight off our um, old family 22. Uh, that was um, Nikki's great uncles. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this one off here. We've bought a, uh, a new little uh, surprise uh, addition to the the, um, the arsenal. So um, this will come in better use on the um, the surprise that's coming up in later on in the video. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do, we'll take this um, red dot scope uh, off the 22. I've had this one for quite some time now. It used to be on my old 30-30 Marlin uh, lever action. Um, so yeah, we'll get to it and be pretty quick. It's not that hard to get off. Uh, so it's just a matter of undoing a couple of screws on the side here. It's mounted on a um, uh, standard Picatinny rail. Um, so it's pretty easy, this one. It's just got a couple of grub screws that go through the side. And um, yeah, just pretty much comes straight off. So take that from there off. comes off there and that's pretty much it um, it's a good little unit it's uh, I like it because it's got a, a wider field of view most of the uh, ones you get today this is 42 mil the ones you get today are only about 25 um, so this one gives you a lot clearer um, field of view so that's why I like using it so what we'll do is we'll put that down there we'll take all the hardware out um, so take the lens cap off, you can see it's got a bit of a reflective front on there, so it stops the glare. Um, it's got your illumination up on top here from uh, 1 through to 11 on the, the red dot, it's quite good. These are your um, elevation and your windage adjustments. Yeah, it's a just a Tasco one that was probably roughly around about oh, 120 odd dollars back about 15 years ago. Um, works so i'm going to use it okay so you've obviously seen me remove the um the red dot sight now off the uh off the 22 um we'll now unbox this one it's a replacement for uh, uh, another firearm that i um had recently um but anyway we'll uh, cut to the chase it's a um, 12 gauge shotgun um it was purchased just recently through um, Cleaver Firearms and it's nothing special. Uh, a lot of people that know me uh, or know of me, I like to do things budget, I like to do things a little bit different. Um, I don't like big fancy guns and all that sort of stuff or you know fancy things but hey you do with you, you make do with what you can um, and yeah this will be a cool fun gun to play with so um, this was an upgrade from a um, just a single barrel um, 12 gauge shotgun. So again, we'll um, we'll unbox this one and um, show you through it, work your way through it. So again, it's a um, it's a double barrel, um, all brand new. This is the first time we're unboxing it, so we'll have to do a bit of assembly work on this one to get it all through. But this is basically your um, your stock. Um, so. Well, um, basically there, it's called a um, double defense. Um, like I say, it comes in 12 gauge, uh, single trigger. Got your uh, safety at the back here. So you got safe there, red mark, ready for fire. And this here obviously breaks, ac breaks the action open so you can inject your cartridges. Um, so what we'll do is we'll I'll just turn the box to the side here and we'll just start laying the pieces of that. So, it's got a few components to it, so we'll leave that one just there. Um, got the, uh, the fore grip here. 
So I'll put that on shortly. So yeah, it's, just, it's all synthetic stock. Um, it's got, you know, a small rubber butt pad on the back there. So I'm sure it's gonna have a bit of a kick on the old shoulder. Not, not a good bit of recoil. Just a little kick, don't. Yeah, just a little kick. Um, <laughs> my wife knows all about that with one of the ones, the previous one we had. Um, so this one's got the, uh, got a, comes with a Picatinny rail as well, which uh, goes up on the top, which obviously the red dot scope is going to uh, mount on as well. So in here, wrapped up and nicely protected. We have the barrel. I mean, it's got another Picatinny rail up under the front there. Uh, if you want to mount up a, a torch and all that sort of stuff, um, it's got your yeah, front sight there. It's also got a ported barrel, a little bit of uh, gas um, export there. Obviously, we've got it's a three inch chamber, um, so it can run three inch and two and three quarter inch cartridges. Um, but yeah, she's all good to go. It's all got um, it's all tapped and threaded up on the top of the barrel here where it's, if it's any rail will go on. Um, so yeah, they're a pretty basic sort of a firearm, just double barrel, it's only 20 inch, it's like a coach gun, but it's mainly just going to be for a bit of fun, you know, so it's, um, yeah, like I say, if I had the opportunity, I was going to um, get something like a, a lever action or a straight pull or something like that, but I thought, no, nah, just to be different, I want to go something like this. Uh, I watched my dad do a lot of uh, Western action shooting. Um, and you know, he used to have the old cowboy, um, coach gun. So I thought, why not go down that path as well? So what we'll do now is we'll start to uh, assemble this and, um, yeah, we'll keep you guys along for the ride so you can see how easily it goes together. So you basically just take the, um, the rear end, the, the stock and the receiver area. These basically just come together, just hooks in behind. Um, just clips in like that, pretty easy. That's all done through there. Then this section here literally just slides in over there and just locks on. And that's it, simple as that. So you got your lever there. If you ever want to take the, um, the full grip off, just pull that down and that front section just comes off again. So. It's all brand new, so it's all very tight. But just leave it on there for now. Leave it latched in. So when you want to uh, disengage the firearm, just push that lever there, and that comes apart like that. You got your ejector there, which will pull your and this uh, discharge cartridges out as well. So pretty cool, pretty simple, easy to carry, uh, easy to put down in a backpack if you want to um, carry it around in two pieces in a backpack. If you're doing a fair bit of a hike or whatever, but. Pretty much here in a nutshell. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Some safety there. Bang bang, two rounds off. Lots of fun.
the shotgun back in the um, gun vise now, so we've put that um, top Picatinny rail on. All you had to do is remove these um, very tiny grub screws um, out of the top of the rail, uh, and then that allows us to put the uh, the larger Allen key bolts through the Picatinny rail, uh, give it a bit of extra grip. So now got the trusty red dot, so we're going to put that back on. Um, probably not going to have it too far back, too far forward or anything. We'll just pick a sort of comfortable spot. Um, it doesn't really matter where it's going to go because it doesn't doesn't change with your eye relief or anything like that. Nine times out of ten, well, pretty much all the time when I'm using that, I've got both eyes open anyway. So um, we will have to sort this in a little bit um, once we get it all back together. But it's as simple as got the base here, you got the screw that comes through. This one's fixed so it doesn't come out. So you just got to pick a spot on your firearm or on your Picatinny rail where you want it to go through. Um, then you just you got your little grub screws and your, and your anchor points. So they'll just go on. Um, and then we will just lock them in. So I'll just get that one on there for now. Uh, over properly, there we go. Mount it on. So I'll just put this one on loosely for now, um, so that way we can line the other one up. Always best is to put them all on loose first so you can feed it through from the other side so you can make sure it comes through the groove properly. <clears throat> so you just got to make sure it goes through one of these grooves. Um, and beds in properly, otherwise it will rattle loose, being a uh, 12 gauge. With a little bit of kick. Yes, it has a little <laughs> bit of kick, uh, especially if you're trying to shoot it off the hip, like uh, my Steady. significant other tried. <laughs> so we'll just, um, uh, got that one around the wrong way, we'll just fix it enough. It's just not seated in properly. That back off for the moment. All these things are fingers are too big to get in there. We won't do the that's what she said thing. I do, I do remember my shoulder cop and a bit of kick, but yeah, I, I remember the warning too. It was very cool, calm and collected. Yeah, it's very got, laid got back. Got a little bit of kick. Well, a pretty laid back sort of a person, so it was, um, I think my wife was uh, expecting it to... Just have a little bit of kick. A little bit of kick, <laughs> And then boom, Not I done. felt like my shoulder had been, yeah. you know... Relocated. <laughs> exactly. the next postcode. <laughs> <laughs> just nip them up. I don't have to be super bloody tight where you're trying to wring its neck out of it. It's going to be firm. And there you go. We've got the um, the red dot on there. Um, it's nicely securely mounted. It's not going to go anywhere. We've got good field of view. Um, like I say, these things are pretty good. You know, you can keep both eyes open and basically wherever the red dot goes. She'll hit once it's sorted. So yes, you do have to sort them in. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. She'll um, get a bit of a workout in a few weeks time. We're, we're heading out on a, um, a quick hunting trip in about four weeks time. So I'm sure we'll take it out there and have a bit of fun with it. Um, see if we can break some shoulders. I think we've got a couple of other shotguns coming along on the trip as well. And we will get footage of that trip. Um, yeah, but no, it's a um, it's going to be a fun little coach gun. Been looking forward to getting something like this for a while. Um, having the double barrel gives you the bit bit extra protection with that second shot uh, if you need it. Um, but yeah, all right. Well, um, we we'll might wrap this one up. Um, we'll take a bit of a shoot on it. Um, we'll do a bit of a review on it as well. Um, probably get a photo of. A, a couple of the mates giving it a whirl too and compare it with their shotguns and see how it feels. So give you some feedback. Um, 
again, if people are interested in buying something like this, it's a um, it's a Boito um, double barrel, double defence, uh, 12 gauge. Um, I purchased this one through Cleaver Firearms down in Margate, in Queensland. Um, really good gun dealers, great to deal with. Um, this one was done under a um, the um, swap over, so same action, same calibre, from a single barrel to a double barrel. So there's an exemption through Queensland Weapons that you can do that with um, any calibre firearm. Uh, not just 12 gauge, as long as this one, my last shotgun was a category A 12 gauge, this is a category A 12 gauge break action. Um, so yeah, good thing to know, you can get up, walk in there with your old gun, if you want to upgrade, same calibre, same action, you can walk in there, do the paperwork, it takes about half an hour, and you can walk out with a brand new gun with um, greater capacity, or just, you know, you might want something new, you might want something better, you might have a 20 year old 22 long rifle lot we took this one off uh or 40 year old actually uh and you want one upgrade to a brand new one you can walk in there same days change it over and walk out with a brand new firearm without having the hassle of waiting 20 40 50 60 days for a pta so good option to do that so yeah thanks for watching we'll get back to you soon cheers